Hey guys, Greg and Grizzle here back again with another Mass Effect Andromeda video. And in this video, I thought I'd jump into a multiplayer match and play with the Krogan Gladiator. As you can see, my axe is not on point right now. I haven't played with the Krogan Gladiator really at all. It's one of the characters that I've sort of got very late in the game. Obviously, it's not a very really fresh or new character. However, it's a character that I've only had for a short amount of time. I've really wanted this character for ages. The game just never decided to give it to me. I think it's one of the coolest looking characters. I think it's got some of the coolest abilities in the game and coolest, you know, coolest sort of uh, ability loadout in the game. And the uh, the melee attack is, or the melee attack is so goddamn cool. That freaking Krogan, I don't know what it's called. Krogan Gravity Hammer is so damn cool. I'm probably gonna be doing like a, a guide video for this guy soon as well. Obviously, like I said, it's not the freshest of characters, but I've only just got it. I've only recently got it. And I think uh, I could come up with a pretty, uh, at least semi-useful guide for this character. The only thing I've noticed about this character is he hasn't got very or she hasn't got very high uh, shields and it's very slow, this character is very slow and the shields are really low like most of the Krogan characters are, uh, which kind of is a good balancing point because they are some of the most like strongest and toughest characters in the game, in the multiplayer and in the single player obviously. Uh, so it may, I, I don't know, in terms of lore it does make sense that they'd be you know less powerful in terms of shields and stuff but you know more tough, that makes sense, it does make sense. Um, but what I'm rocking with is actually the shield enhancer equipment uh, upgrade. I think that's what it's called, equipment upgrade. Um, or equipment item, and that's going to give me 15% more uh, more shields. That's going to help out. This guy's only level 3, so he's, he's quite, a, he's, he's quite a, a weak character right now. Like I said, I haven't leveled him up or had a chance to play with him very much. The guns I'm rocking with are the Khan effects and the cannon. This thing is a beast. It's so powerful. It's, I think it's the highest damage per shot of any uh, of any pistol apart from the Talon pistol. The Talon pistol isn't really a pistol. I've done a few videos on that thing in case you, uh, you've never heard of it or you, you haven't used it yourself. Basically it's a shotgun but in pistol form so it doesn't really count as a pistol I don't think. Um, you know in the same way that you know submachine guns like the equalizer for example they're listed as pistols but they're not really pistols they're submachine guns or you know like mini assault rifles they're not really pistols it's the same as that the talent isn't really a pistol however the card effects is an actual pistol so i think it's the like the strongest actual pistol in the game i'm also rocking with the ruzard shotgun i freaking love this thing the ruzard uh, program shotgun is without a doubt at least in my opinion the best shotgun in the game. I don't know why people like the Darn so much, the Cat shotgun so much. This thing, this Krogan shotgun is a beast. I love this thing. Coolest looking gun in the game in my opinion. Or one of the coolest looking games. Uh, one of the coolest looking guns in the game. And really I'm rocking with such like a super high power loadout. As you can see it does like this gun does super damage. Like incredible damage. And this guy, because he's only level 3, I haven't got the like the perks, the, the skill trees unlocked very much. Obviously because like I said he's only level 3. So I haven't got the, the, the weapons training uh, upgraded at all. Really, uh, you know, like the 15% uh, the extra. 15% uh, extra. Uh, like weapon damage and, and shotgun damage or assault rifle accuracy, things like that. I haven't got those little uh, perks, so the fact that this guy is so powerful with these weapons already is pretty damn crazy. But you know, once you level this guy up, he's going to be even more powerful with the weapons that I'm using right now. But these are, you know, two two of the like the highest powered weapons in the game. I might even include them in my guide when I do the guide for this uh, once for this guy. Once I get to like a higher level. With this character, I will be. Uh, I'll, I'll try and put some time into creating a guide for you guys. This goddamn freaking saboteur is trying to steal my goddamn shield. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, dude. I'm, like I said, it, this guy, I haven't put really any skill points into him so far because I just haven't got the, the option yet, really. But once I do, I have a feeling it's going to be an absolute beast. How did I get a freaking biotic combo? I don't know why I keep getting biotic combo. Oh, oh, the biotic combo was for my annihilation thing. Yeah. Uh, passive that I've got here on LB and RB or L1 and R1 if you're on uh, PS4. But this character is so goddamn cool. Like the Krogans are, I, I guess I feel like the Krogans are some of like the most underrated and under, so, no not underrated, underpowered characters in the game. I, I feel like they're not given enough love in terms of like, how powerful they are, at least in the multiplayer, at least compared to how they were in you know, Mass Effect 3 for example, Mass Effect 3's multiplayer. Just because they, they you know, at least they're like the Krogan Biotic or the Krogan Vanguard. I find to be very weak uh, because he's so slow and he's got such a low uh, low shield count. I find him very hard to you know play with. Maybe I just need to put more time into playing with him. But this is like one of the, the Krogan characters that I think I can really roll with and really do uh, really do well with. Move, bro! Where are you getting in my way? I gotta get in my way like that. I really feel like they need to add another map to Mass Effect Andromeda or even like a full multiplayer map pack 
Uh, the multiplayer is getting kind of stale. It's not, it's not like ultra stale. It's not boring to play by any means. I love the multiplayer. I love this game. But one thing I have noticed, oh god, the, uh, the freaking biotic combos are so cool with the uh, the biotic gravity hammer thing. One thing I have noticed is the multiplayer is getting kind of stale. They really need to uh, up the work, like increase the work and increase the focus on new multiplayer maps, I think. I really would, would like them to release like a whole map pack, like a whole sort of uh, set of, of maps instead of just one every month or so. I think they release one every month or every two months. Uh, I, I, obviously, I think we'd all rather have like four maps every month or something. But then again, it is free. It's free DLC, so we can't expect you know any massive DLC. Then again, though, in Mass Effect 3, they uh, they release full map packs every. I think they I think they only did that like every three months or every like uh, two months. I think that was kind of it wasn't very regular. Um, but they did release like four maps at a time. They had like the Resurgence map pack and the Earth map pack, Earth Defense map pack, or whatever the hell they called it. They uh, released some pretty damn awesome maps. Sadly, though, we haven't seen any, you know, like, proper sets or collections of maps in this game. Let's see, see if we can do some damage to this goddamn Hydra. That guy up there is going to try and do some damage to me. The, uh, the freaking shield enhancer is such a lifesaver for broken characters. Because we've got such low shield levels, the shield enhancer is so good. It's just, it's so underrated. I don't see enough people rocking with it in, uh, in you know, in their loadouts and their playstyles. Get wrecked, bro. This Krogan, ironically, this Krogan and this Krogan loadout that I'm rocking with right now is like a Krogan killer because it's got such high damage per shot. It's it's the perfect Krogan for killing Krogans, if that makes any sense. And I think that, that you know, that if, if, if Krogans specialize at anything, it's killing each other. I think that's uh, I think that's well established by now, especially in Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. One thing I've noticed is also... The Krogans in this game have some, you know, have a, like a real swagger on them. Look at the way they wiggle their little uh, Krogan uh, tails at the back. They really have a swagger on them. They do really have a swagger on them. I haven't noticed that. I really haven't noticed that up until now because, like I said, I haven't played with Krogan characters. I've got the Krogan uh, Engineer, I believe it's called, and I've got the uh, Krogan Vanguard as well. I don't remember what they were called then, but I don't really like them. I just find them so slow and that it's so hard to maneuver compared to the other, other characters in the game. I really wish we'd have some more sort of variation and more diverse characters in the game. I really want them to add more characters to the game because, you know, you can play, go back and play Mass Effect 3, for example. I've done it uh, since the launch of Mass Effect Andromeda. I've gone back and played Mass Effect 3's multiplayer, and they're, they're, the multiplayer is so, like, the characters are so much more diverse. There's so much more diversity and sort of. Yeah, they, they varied so much. They varied so much more, and obviously, uh, they weren't all in the game at once. They were added over the, the course of like a year, or I think it was a year. Like, following the year after Mass Effect 3 released, they sort of released like a map pack, including like three or four new characters and like three or four new maps every time. I wish they'd do that, do that with Andromeda instead of releasing them one at a time and one map at a time. It would just make it. I don't know. It. it, it I just prefer. That. I prefer. You know, a, a meter. Even if we had to wait for longer between map packs I'd prefer like a meteor sort of update and, and it, I think it would be better at refreshing the multiplayer more than you know one map every every month or so and I don't know how many more maps they've got left to release because I don't think they are working on multiplayer maps I don't think they're working on you know producing new multiplayer maps I think they're actually you know they've all the maps that they've been releasing for multiplayer they actually made whilst they like their campaign was still in development and while whilst the main chunk of the game was still in development and they've just kept them to one side to release at a later date hopefully they've got plenty of them hopefully they're still working on them but I have a feeling that they're probably not since most of Bioware most of the uh, Bioware Montreal and Edmonton uh, the Montreal and Edmonton studios. Since most of that, I think 90% of that has been focused on the new Bioware game, Anthem. I did a video on that um, as well, like the new independent project. Since most of the, the manpower and the money has been focused on that, I don't think they'll be developing new games. I don't think they'll be, no, no new maps. I don't think they'll be developing new maps and new characters. I think the stuff that we see in the, the, you know, the more recent patches and updates has actually just been pre-developed stuff that we, uh, that you know, that they've waited to release. I'm gonna try and take this dude out. Freaking Krogan v Krogan. Get wrecked, bro. Get wrecked. I've got this character is so goddamn awesome. It's gonna be such a beast at level 20. I already know. I can already tell it's gonna be such a freaking beast at level 20. It really is. Do and do some damage to these guys. Help my homie out down there. We're playing bronze. I didn't mention that earlier. We're playing bronze, but this guy is level 3. So I think silver and uh, gold would be kind of suicidal. One, one other thing that I kind of left out in this video and in this match would be the scope. I forgot to add the scope to this weapon. Out of all the pistols in the game, I think scopes work so well with this weapon. 
uh, simply because it's such an ultra accurate and ultra sort of uh, precise weapon. It's very powerful and you have to wait quite a while between shots, but it's really, really uh, precise and accurate. Get right. Where the, where the hell is this guy going? Oh, god damn, I should have took the shield down before I hit him with a throw. Get right, bro. So we're going to take this guy. We're getting some goddamn lag. I thought the days of lag were over for Mass Effect and Drum. Apparently not. My fa my all-time favorite thing about this character is the uh, the biotic hammer thing. Look at that. That's just so goddamn satisfying. I wish you could pick your own melee weapons or melee weapons in uh, Mass Effect and Drum as multiplayer. That would be cool. I think that would be pretty damn cool. Like you can in the single player. However, it, it does kind of give a little bit more variation between multiplayer characters. It makes them a little bit more varied, I guess. And makes the, the, the sort of the character loadouts a little bit more clear cut. Let's see if we can pull this guy up here and get an easy kill. Get right, bro. That's that's like the dream combination. Just pull them in with the the full biotic ability, and then just hit them with the biotic hammer. Finishes those raiders up in one hit. Let me see if I can get one kill before the end. Get right, there we go. We got the kill. We got the kill. Maybe one more. Oh god damn it! If I had shot slightly quicker, I would have managed to get that kill. I really like this character. I'm gonna do a a guide. With this guy i'm gonna try and uh, work on a guide after i finish recording this video with this guy so look out for that if uh, you're interested interested in that at all because i do like this character i might try and level him up a little bit more before i work on the guide but yeah that's gonna do it for this video if you guys enjoyed leave a like it would really help me out and i would really appreciate it if you want to see any more of my videos definitely stick around and subscribe anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video